All right, I'm looking at another Zordal today, or x ordal or cross ordal or however you want to pronounce it. But basically, this is like a Dordal, where there's two words, and they are overlapped. And we're trying to figure out both words. And that's the extent of what you need to know. So, oh, I guess, uh, and you can't have the same letter in more than one word. Uh, so we're starting with all grays. So I guess we can do kind of anything we want. Obviously, we want new letters, so we could do something like space. Space isn't too bad. All right, so Future Scott jumping in here. I realized at the end of the solve that uh, over there on the side of the screen where the puzzle is supposed to be, it was the window capture was recording nothing. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I'm going to go back and open the puzzle in an incognito window so I can get a fresh puzzle, and I'm going to try to go through and type in the things that I was typing in during the solve, and so it'll pretty much look like what it looked like originally, but some things might not quite line up perfectly with what I'm saying, and sometimes you may see typing happen when my hands are not on the keyboard, so that's what's going on there. So, but it should be pretty much the same. All of the audio and my recording was fine, just not the recording of the puzzle itself. So, back to past Scott. Let's go with that. Okay. So, interesting. No E, no I. So, O would be good to use. U. I mean, obviously, one of the words has an A, but the other word is going to need to have a different vowel. So... Let's do bow. That gets us five new letters and checks the O and the U. Okay, so one word has an A, one word has an O. Uh, there's also Y we haven't done yet, but I think, you know, most likely one of them has an A and one of them has an O. Let's see, we could do something maybe that starts with a P. A? P A? I'm just trying to find new spots for those letters. We want to get an O in there. We could do something like Panda. That would check two new spots for the A, new spot for the P, and also get two new letters in there. Let's go with that. Okay, so more yellows. <laughs> so one of the words has a C in the fourth position. What's going to come after the C? That's the real question. It's not an A. It could be an O, but seems unlikely. I feel like Y is actually the most likely letter after the C. Something like that, maybe with an O before it, or... Mm, no. I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's C... Oh, it can't be C-A. C-O? Let's see. Alone isn't a terrible guess. We know there's no E, but it's checking new spots for the A, the O, and the N, and it's Let's us check an L, since we haven't done L yet. Could do something like a long, but there's no G either, so. It'd be nice to not use the E, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm just gonna do alone. It's okay. Okay, good. So we located the A and the O, which I'm pretty sure are in different words. So So maybe O C? I mean, I was thinking that before. What's going to come at the end, though? It's almost got to be a Y, but I can't think of anything that is O-C-Y. O-C-O? Okay, so, assuming the A and the O are not in the same word, we need two consonants before the O, unless we have an O at the beginning. Something like that. Otherwise, we need two consonants and then an O. We can't use a P, could have an N, but what's going to go, uh, yeah, you can't put N and an I don't really have a lot of consonant pairs with the letters that we have. So maybe it needs to have another O, something like that. Uh, oh, something like ozone, but we obviously not the N and E at the end there. We can't do P or L in between. Can we do O N O? So, okay, so the P is not first or second. It's not gonna go with the C, because we're not gonna have P C, and we're not gonna have C P at the end. So the P cannot be with the C, so the P could potentially be there, but then this lack of vowels is what's 
messing me up, I think. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I might try Nappy. Um, we know the A isn't there, but it checks N here. Two spots for the P, and I want to see if there's a Y. Um, so let's go with that. Okay, so there is a Y at the end. I think it's CY, and it's not going to be PCY. So I think it's got to be OCY, but what would that be? And then the N either has to be second or fifth. If it's O, C, and not Y, what would it be? All I can think of is O, C, O. And I think the A has to go with the P. And something like ample, but there's no E. We do have an L. We haven't done M yet. But... Hmm. Can't be... Apple, because again, no E, but also we don't have a P in the second position. And there's only one P. We know there's only one P because of Nappy. So what's going to come, if it's PY, what's going to come between the P and the Y? It's not going to be the C. Or O? But if it's O, then, yeah, the O can't go with the P. And if it's A, then you would have to have the A at the beginning. So I don't think it can be A or O. So it's, it would almost have to be an L, I would think. But then since you're using the Y, you either need to have Y's at the beginning or the A. And what, if you had A, I mean, what could that be besides another P? I mean, is amply a word? Amply? It might be a word. It might be a word. We could try that. Oh, it is a word. Okay. Whew. So I guess if you do, if if it's ample, then it's done amply. I'm not sure. That's an unusual. I mean, I can see where the word, you know, what it would mean, but it's an unusual word for me. Okay. So so the Y is not with the C. So we've got uh, the O and the C. And we need to have an N either at the end, which doesn't seem good after the C. So it's got to be N-O-C. Got to be something like this. But then we don't have any other vowels that we can use besides O. So what's going to come before the N? Oh, it's, it's K's. It's K-N. It's going to be knock. Okay, there we go. Knock. So there you go, that was a really tough one today. Uh, so difficult, in fact, that my computer couldn't even record the puzzle, apparently. But I think I got it all fixed and lined up the best I could over there. So hopefully it wasn't too uh, distracting. And uh, let me know how you did with today's Zordal. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Okay, so we got a bunch of reds with house, and now we got a bunch of yellows with flyer. I don't, say, I don't think thonk is a word, no. It's not. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be wheel. Let's guess wheel. Oh, it was a wheel! Ugh. So close, alright.